Hey everybody, this is our Thanksgiving. First, we need to make the bread so we can make our stuffing. So we're gonna start off with the water at 110 degrees. And we're gonna stir in some sugar so we can feed my little bugs. And now in comes the yeast. And then we'll set it aside for five minutes so that our yeast can bloom. That way the critters are good and ready. And as you can see, my yeast is active and we're going to be going to the KitchenAid and we're going to start making bread. Now besides the yeast and sugar, and flour of course, we've got some uh, vegetable oil and salt in this too. And this is just a basic white one. We're going to make two for our stuff. So it's going to go nice and slow at first. We don't want flour flying all over the kitchen. And then we're going to add the rest of our flour. And we're going to incorporate that all. And then we're going to let the dough hook knead it for a few minutes. So it's all incorporated. Now we're going to turn it up and we're going to let the dough hook knead this dough. Now, as you can see, the faster we get, the more this thing jumps around. All right. That looks pretty good. It's all pulling away from the sides. So now it's going to come out and we're going to start kneading our dough on our floured board. This is a pretty simple recipe. Anybody can make this. It makes a perfect white loaf. I know the wife and kids love it. They like to have sandwiches with it. So, here we go with the kneading. And before we go any further, if you like this, please hit that like and subscribe button. And also consider becoming a Patreon member on our account. In the link, I have posted the link below so that you can go right to it if you want to. Alright, so we're going to knead this for a bit before we let it sit and do its rising. form it up into a ball and it's going to go into a grease bowl and covered for at least 45 minutes. All right, so 45 minutes is up. Our dough is risen. Oh, we love punching it down. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're going to 
separate it into two loaves. And then we are going to shape this into what we want as our loaves. Now, I'm not con too concerned with the appearance of the bread, seeing how it's going to be dried out and uh, used for stuffing. So, really doesn't matter. I'd take a little more care if I was making a loaf for sandwiches. But not today. Today I get to be messy. It's kind of sloppy. Okay, and those are going to sit. Now we're going to get our loaf pans ready. We're going to spray them down so nothing sticks. And then we are going to put our loaves in the loaf pan and then let it rise again. Next step, we're going to inject the bird with butter and herbs. What I have here is rosemary and thyme in my spice grinder, and I'm going to grind that down so it can be injectable. And here's our 16 pound bird. And we're going to be making a stock with all the pieces that we have. Now, don't get me wrong, wings are my favorite, but today, they're going into the stock for our uh, stuffing and our gravy. So besides the wings in the stock, we have the turkey neck, the turkey butt, and then once we spatchcock this, the turkey back will be in there. That will simmer down after we roast the pieces in the oven. Now you'll notice when you see the tray, you're going to see gizzards and hearts. Those are for me. I will snack on them while I'm cooking. All right, so now that we have the wings off, we are going to spatchcock this turkey. We're going to go down both sides of the backbone and remove the back. And now we're coming up the other side. And there we have it. That back is removed. be a numb nut like me and try to pull it and all you're gonna do is just snap it off like I did so I'll move off to the other side and do it properly and that way we'll get it all out and then once that's done our bird will lay flat in the oven and it will cook evenly All right, we're still wrestling with that wishbone, but we got it out. All right. All right, we'll do a little trimming on there. Get some of that neck skin off and we'll look around. All right. 
pretty good, pretty flat. Now we're going to inject this bird. Like I said, it's butter, rosemary, and some thyme. And we'll get those breasts and thighs pumped up with it. The reason why I inject it the day before is all that butter going in, once it hits the fridge, it's gonna solidify in there, so I don't have to worry about anything leaking out. That way, when I throw it in the oven tomorrow, that butter's gonna melt all through that meat and keep it moist and in flavor. So, our bread is done. It's time to get it out of the pan. And like I said, this recipe makes perfect loaves of white bread. And I wasn't even taking care to make sure that this was, was perfect. And you can see how it came out just doing it haphazard. Alright, we'll let those sit and cool. And we'll move on to the next. So here's a tray of turkey parts. They're getting ready to go into the oven. And we're gonna roast those so that we can make our stock. All right. They are done and they are ready to go in the stock pot. Minus my gizzards and heart. All right, got my stock pot ready to dump them in. Mm, roasted turkey skin. All right, so we'll get the wings, the neck, the back, and of course the almighty turkey butt. Now, I'm just making a plain turkey stock. I'm not adding any aromatics, nothing. It's just gonna be straight turkey stock. Pig. Pig. All right, so let's start. The bread has already been dried. Of course, this is the next day on Thanksgiving and it was in the oven to toast up a little bit. So now we're gonna cube up those two loaves and that is going to be our main ingredient of our stuff. So now for what's going in the stuffing, I've got one medium onion that I'm going to dice. Alright, next we're going to smash some garlic and then chop it up. Our celery. 
Next, we are going to get our thyme and, and uh, rosemary. We're going to stem those. And then we're going to mill them. Milling with the chef's knife. All right, and here comes the rosemary. Love working with fresh. Lots of flavors. Once we get everything milled, our oils are going to come out, and this is going to be wonderful. Okay, so right now we're going to saute what we chop our onions, our celery, and I'm sauteing in butter. Next in will be, oh, that's the celery. Okay, in goes our garlic and our herbs. And we will saute that until it gets aromatic. And it's only gonna be a minute. That's done. A little bit of salt, a little bit of black pepper, and that is ready to go. So, into our bowl with the breadcrumbs. Okay, next we're going to be adding our turkey stock. Now I leave it on the stove top on the warm setting so it's warm and it's not cold going in. And we want that to absorb into our stuffing. Here I'm using a large cast iron which will heat up really good. And the other good thing is the bottom crust that forms on the cast iron if you like crunchies with your stuffing, you're going to love this. All right, that's all set and it'll go in the oven. So now our turkey's ready to get seasoned up. As you can see, you can see that, that firmed up butter, how it's there with the bird, it didn't go anywhere. It might have leaked some out, that's fine because that's going to melt and it's going to base the bottom. All right. I normally don't foil line my sheet pans, but I did today because I didn't want to get killed by my wife for ruining one of her good baking sheets. The crappy ones are mine that I cook meat on and everything, but uh, you don't mess with one of the sheet pans. All right, we're putting the herbs in, and we're gonna put salt and pepper on the inside. Right now, I'm rubbing the salt and pepper. And we're gonna get that underneath the skin so that breast is nice and seasoned. And then we are gonna take sprigs of both rosemary and thyme, and we're gonna slide it under the skin. I also did the thighs and now I'm going to salt and pepper it and it's going to go into the oven. Now I'm cooking this 16 pound bird which is probably about 15 pounds now since I took the backbone and wings. It's going into a 375 degree oven and 
It surprised me how cook it quick. It took an hour to cook. It took an hour to get to 155, and then when I let it rest, it carried over to 165. So we're gonna take the breasts off, and then we're gonna slice it. Now we're gonna separate the legs from the thighs. And now I'm gonna debone the thighs because we're also gonna slice that meat up too. So this is a completely boneless bird when it gets to the table. And there you have the finished bird. I've got to figure out the lighting because it keeps flashing back through different contrasts and this bird looks like it's gray but it's it was nice and beautiful. So here's our finished plate. I also did sweet potatoes that after they cooked I sliced them up into cubes. With the skin on I added butter and maple sugar. Here's our stuffing with gravy, our turkey with gravy. Happy Thanksgiving!